Hello subscribers, non-subscribers, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Online. So sorry there were no videos at all last week, some things came up, and I wasn't able to record, and I wasn't able to stream Friday, Saturday, or Sunday as a result of being busy with some school stuff. But let's go ahead and continue on with um, the Delta Quadrant arc with Revelations. A distress signal from a Federation vessel leads you to the heart of the crisis in the Delta Quadrant. We've received a distress call from the USS Callisto, which was on a research mission in a little explored area of the Delta Quadrant. We're not sure what happened to the Callisto, but we need someone to check it out. There are a lot of people on the Callisto, good Starfleet officers and researchers. Bring them home. Okay. And... I mean, there's no reason for me to actually fly down there now that they may transwarp to mission locations free. All it does is pad out runtime. <laughs> I don't really need to do that. At the end of the day, these missions generally are fairly lengthy anyway. Let's begin Revelations. Plus, taking into account loading screens, taking a while sometimes. But generally speaking, they're already fairly long missions anyway. Sir, we've arrived at the location of the distress call from the USS Callisto. We are no longer receiving the distress beacon, but sensors are picking up debris consistent with a Luna class Federation starship. There might be some survivors. Scan the wreckage. Let's do a full impulse for just a little bit. Scan for survivors. No luck, Captain. Sensors aren't reading any life signs in the wreckage. The Callisto had a crew complement of 350. Unfortunate. Can we identify who attacked her? Sir, we have an incoming message. It's from the outpost station. Let's hear what they have to say. This is Seven of Nine, part of the Federation research team assigned to the USS Callisto. My team and I were investigating this outpost when the defense systems activated. The ship. Seven, this is Admiral Kissick of the USS Odin. We responded as soon as we could. I am aware of your service record. Thank you for responding to our request for assistance. I was able to deactivate the outpost defenses, but the system sent out an automated distress signal upon shutdown. It is logical to assume that someone will be arriving to investigate. Please transport my team and me to your ship. I will give more assistance to you there. They have a lot to explain. Okay, off we go to the station. And beam over survivors. Long range signals are picking up inbound energy signatures. Both ships. We must lay claim to the system. Indeed. Attention, trespassing and no terms. You are trespassing in fourth aligned space. Surrender now, and we will allow you to live out the remainder of your lives on a prison world. We will not be made your prisoners. This character doesn't have a whole lot of uh, 
crit. No, oh, no, they got actually the same amount of crit chance as my main, apparently. <coughs> Okay, take out the frigate. And because these are the Voth, they have these whole impenetrable shields they can throw up sometimes on one facing. down. <clears throat> Ooh, that's uh, a lot of ships. You want me to actually deal with that game? I'm assuming not really. Uh, I was about to say. That is odd. Sir, we are receiving a distress call from the Turei homeworld. On screen. This is a general distress signal for any ships in range. This is the Turei homeworld. We are under attack by an unknown force of immense power. We require immediate assistance. Who exactly are the Turei? The Turei are a spacefaring culture that Voyager encountered in 2376. They claim ownership over the underspace, which are corridors through subspace that significantly shorten travel times here in the Delta Quadrant. Command has been attempting to contact them without success. Access to the upper space would be a distinct advantage for our fleets. Do you think the Voth are the ones who attacked the Terray? They left so quickly. That is one possibility. To my knowledge, the Voth and Terray are not enemies. However, there is still much we do not know about the Delta Quadrant. Perhaps a show of good faith would be in order. Of course, leading for the Terray homeworld, we're ready to leave on your orders. Engage. And this is going to be one of those loading screens that takes forever. Whatever they are, they're packing quite a punch. Yeah, because they just knocked out a Voth Dreadnought. One of the ships is broken off and is moving in our direction. Oh shit! What the fuck? Wow, okay. Let's try that again, hopefully this time without getting basically two shotted. It's been so long since I fought the Vodwar. <coughs> That I do not recall them being this dangerous. 
then again, when I fought them on the main, the level cap was, <coughs> uh, I think, only 60. It might have been earlier than that, I don't recall. The Vaughn and whomever they are fighting are speaking on an open channel. We can listen to their communications. Make it so. Your defense of the Terray thieves will be your undoing. The Terray and Voth have a long-standing allegiance. The Terray's exothermic nature makes them superior to the other feeble races of the Quadrant. Then you will be loyal to the death. They're not even attempting to negotiate. The surface of the Terray homeworld is being devastated by the debris from the Voth vessels. They do have a defense network of satellites and shields that is capable of protecting them. The control network is offline. This was intentional. Their attackers deliberately targeted the area during the initial assault. There is a secondary command center on the outskirts of one of their major settlements. If we transport directly there, we will be able to restore the control network. Okay, let's go ahead and beam down then. Did not do significant structural damage. We were, however, able to take down the control network controlling the orbital defense grid. That defense grid is the only thing capable of stopping all of the debris from the battle in orbit from raining down on the planet. Small pieces will burn up in the atmosphere. Your ship's weapons can deal with some others, but a significant percentage will get through. Until that grid is operational, there will be widespread devastation. So we get the defense grid back online. Give the Terray a fighting chance. One of the Terray is injured, but his condition is stable. He may be able to give us more information about the invaders. Good. We'll help him and maybe he can answer some questions. And 70 don't need to stand right behind me. A little thing called personal space. Yes, we'd like to know what happened here. The ships emerged from the underspace, and they were too close for our defense grid to stop the launch of drop pods. In minutes, they had knocked out the grid controls, and we were defenseless. We barely had time to transmit a distress signal. What is underspace? You are not to I cannot reveal our secrets. Very well. If I may, underspace is a network of subspace corridors that extend through much of the Delta Quadrant. Voyager was pulled into one when its warp field interacted with the corridor's radial power. In time, we speculated that the corridors would speed our journey back to Federation space. If underspace is a Terray's secret, how were these attackers able to use it? The attackers were Vodwar. Voyager did indeed interact with one of our corridors, but instead of deleting the info as we requested and going on their way, they revived our greatest enemy. All of this destruction, every death, is all Voyager's fault. Vodwar? Impossible. It cannot be the Vodwar. I, I would know. Have you confronted the Vodwar previously? Yes. This is all my fault. When we first encountered the Vodwar, they were in cryostasis. I foolishly awoke their leader. I didn't know their history. Conquerors, despots. The Vodwar used underspace to rule the Delta Quadrant for decades. It was only when the other races banded together. By the time we encountered them, when I, when I awakened them, Captain Janeway said she probably would have done the same thing. It wasn't her choice, it was mine. I am responsible. The, the Vodwar we encountered did not have a level of technology that we face here. Is far beyond anything the Vodwar are capable of developing in such a short amount of time. So, now we form a plan of action. My analysis remains unchanged. We need to restore functionality to the defense grid. There are four nodes located on the edge of this complex. We must restart these nodes and realign them to the central tower to re-establish the grid. 
Sounds good. Keep an eye out for any Vodwar. They won't like what we're trying to do. I'll go to the central tower and start the initialization sequence. You do that. Ah, okay. I blame myself for the Okay, that's one group down. One more group over here. Vod War on the ground are actually pretty weak. Um, okay, analyze the defense. In the correct order. First, you must reboot the core matrix. Okay. Next, you must reinitialize the kinetic dampers. Okay. Finally, you must establish the satellite upgrade. Okay. Boot, reinitialize. And establish satellite uplink. Okay, let's go over here. How about some more of the terrain? Although I think the Terrain were just standing there waiting for me to get closer before they engaged, but the Vodwar had enough range to engage as soon as they spawned in. And that's the Vodmore dealt with. Now wait for me to get out of combat so I can go ahead and set up this node. Analysis complete. Perform these steps in the correct order. Okay. First, you must launch the startup sequences. Okay, start up. Next, you must update the defense protocols. Update. Finally, you must establish the satellite. And establish. So, start up. Update defensive protocols. And establish uplink. And yeah, for whatever reason, Star Trek Online still has problems. Because, yeah, that beam is not always staying. Quit teleporting around, Seven. Okay, analyze defense node. I've completed my analysis. Complete the following steps <clears throat> in the correct order. Go on. First, you must launch the startup sequences. Okay, launch. Next, you must update the defense protocols. Update. Finally, you must establish the satellite. And establish. 
So, start up. <coughs> Update. And establish. One more to go. Okay, need to use that right that second. I was preferring to use it when there are more people lined up with it. Okay, great job, game. Oh, okay, this one's not defending. I guess, in theory, this is supposed to be the first one you go to. Because it's undefended. My analysis of this note is complete. Execute the following steps in the correct order. Go on, Seven. First, you must reboot the core matrix. Okay, reboot. Next, you must update the defense protocols. Okay, update. Finally, you must align the main relay. Oh, that's requiring me to align. Okay. So, reboot core matrix. Update defensive protocols. And align main relay. And activate defense grid. Oh, call from Bellas. I need assistance at the central tower. Okay. Off we go to the central tower. Because our good friend Bellas apparently needs our help. Okay, Bellis. Um, let's go ahead and heal you, I guess. Um, it seems I can only heal him. It doesn't actually seem to have done anything. Your team did an excellent job getting the defense nodes back online and realigned to the central hub here. The restart process will take some time, but the defense grid will be active in about two minutes. Okay. We'd be in good shape if the Vardwa had launched more assault pods. These are mobile transport pads to bring more troops to the surface rapidly. I assume they're coming to stop us from restoring the defense. Okay, then we need to hold them off until the defense grid has completed the restart sequence. They're already here, though. Let's just go ahead and mention that. Come on, that guy seems to have a lot more health. Okay, one of my people are down. I don't know where they are though, so I can't really go and get them up. Um, oh, there you are. Granted, we are in the middle of a fight, so it's going to be a little hard to get you up in the first place. I'm just going to uh, call in uh, 
you don't say, they just keep coming. And I'm actually all out of hypo sprays. Let's just go and hide here for a second. Who the fuck is shooting me? Oh. Oh shit. Didn't I have a belt? Oh shit. Yep. And all my crew's down, so I'll have to respawn. There we go. Care to heal you, I wanted you to go and take the item. Oh, okay, and here's the final wave just scanning over there. And one of my people is still down. Okay, but they got him up. Sir, I'm receiving a message from the Odin. The Vaudois are retreating to underspace. Even with their defense grid online, the Terei couldn't have defeated them. Why leave before they finish the fight? Odd. Really? I seem to remember the Vaudoir tearing your ships apart. While we did sustain great losses, we have made good on our agreement with the Terrain. Bellas, we have restored your defense grid. Seven and I restored the defense grid, you mean? I'm not interested in any squabbling about who did what. The grid is restored and we are safe. That's all that matters. I apologize, Bellas. Sir, the U.S.'s Voyager has entered orbit. Admiral Tuvok is requesting to beam down to your position. Permission granted. Seven of nine. Admiral, we detected the destruction of the Callisto. What? It was your fault! Your ship invaded the Voth outpost! You walked the Vodwar! Vodwar? Interesting. Starfleet intelligence did not consider them a threat. We believed their numbers were few and their technology outdated. Then you were wrong! The Vodwar have returned, and no one is safe. I see. Seven, Voyager could use your expertise again. Will you return to the ship? That would be acceptable. Very well. We will take the other survivors from the crystal as well. Thank you. Voyager 2 to be one. And she's still running around with the old comm badge. Because apparently they never shipped her a new one. Seven and nine has safely returned or er, safely arrived on Voyager and the Vodwar threat on the ground here is over. The Voth commander has indicated his forces will deal with any remaining hostiles. We're cleared to return to the Odin on your command. Okay, let's go ahead and return then. Thank you. Without your help, my team and I may have been killed by the bomb. Now, however, I must 
return my attention to the Vaudoir. I am responsible for their return. I must assist in their defeat. Until next time. We're clear to depart as soon as you're ready, Captain. Er, as soon as you're ready, sir. Engage. And luckily they're not leaving the parking brake on anymore. I've read Admiral Janeway's mission logs from Voyager. It would be troublesome enough to have the Vadwa return in force. They're an aggressive and difficult species. But if they have technology and forces that can defeat the Voth, this does not bode well. Then choose one of the following. You only have one option. Hello. Would you okay, well that's gonna be it for this part. I'll see oh, wow, okay, this is actually only thirty minutes. Normally they're about an hour. I'm surprised. But nope, nonetheless, that's still gonna be it for this part. I'll see you all in the next one where we will do all that glitters. Uh, but until then, a goodbye and farewell. A quick reminder that the channel is not a part of the YouTube Partner Program, so if you enjoy the content of the channel, the uh, easiest and best way to help support the channel is to go and become a patron via my Patreon, which you can find a link to down in the description. Um, so yeah, even if it's at just the $1 a month tier, you get early access to all my videos. But until next time, a goodbye and farewell.